I'm Mike Lale with Duke Energy. I'm the uh, supervisor for the Upper Catawba area of the Catawba River, which includes Bridgewater, Road Hills, Oxford, and Lookout Highway Station. I have worked at the nuclear stations. I've worked at the CT stations a little bit, not full time, but I have. But I've been there and done some work, and I've also, you know, landed here in hydro. So I think this is the best place for me. So, what is the average starting salary for this particular job? This particular station tech can start out, depending on his skill level, can start out at anywhere between fifteen, twenty dollars an hour, and uh, progress up to over thirty dollars an hour. What other jobs are offered at this facility? Well, you have uh, you have electrical based jobs, you have maintenance based jobs, you have. Uh, well, I have a lot of contract jobs that come in, and they do scaffold building, insulators. Uh, we have teams that come in and, and test our test our breakers and our equipment like that. Very specialized, skilled stuff, and uh, they can also those guys that do that also can go to nuclear station and a fossil station. So that type of skill can work at any of the stations. How do you apply for a job here? Uh, you can go online at uh, DukeEnergy.com. And uh, I'm sure there might be some other ways. If you used to could go to different offices and do that, but online online is the best way to do it now. And you can go to careers, job search, and all that information is out there, you know, and uh, locations. So what's your favorite part about working here? The scenery. Being on the lakes, looking at just watching what's going on at the lake and knowing that we're making clean energy. We're not hurting the environment. We're doing a we're doing a responsible job as far as managing water, and uh, you see all the wildlife, the birds, the fish. You know, a lot of these back road places, a lot of deer. What degree did you get, and what relevant classes did you take to get to this point? I really just had a two-year technical degree, but I done a lot of training. When I got to the company, they offer they offer a lot of self-training stuff if you want to do it. Uh, opportunities are there to advance you can you can you can do different things and take different classes or or different and they will even pay for some of your if you want to go to a community college at night they'll even pay for some of that if it's if it's relevant to your job or relevant to a job that you may want to have within the company do you have any advice for middle school students interested in a job in this field uh, just to, if you're interested, start early, learn, learn how, how places like this operate. You know, a place like this, it's not, not very complicated on how it operates until you get to how the electricity is actually made. But you know, you just got mechanical parts, electrical parts, and you know, we always, safety is a big part of it. So we always have to make sure that everybody, you know, complies to all the safety things. You know, we have our standard rule is hats, glasses, footwear. And even when you're in the electrical side of it, our clothes are, are fire retardant. So we have to, and even if we get to a higher voltage, we put on a suit. Looks like a, a moon suit. So uh, gotta have all the safety, ride safety equipment too.